Everybody, we're back to playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Today we'll be playing around with the Vectrix Heraldic deck. Now, I'm not familiar with this deck. It'll be a little bit of a trial and error. It's been a little while. I gave Yu-Gi-Oh! a break uh, a little bit uh, after the new year. Uh, just to make sure I concentrate on some other stuff in the meantime. I'm a little exhausted because I just uh, spent most of the, of the afternoon uh, assembling a green screen and a ring light and stuff like that for uh, my channel. So that way I can start like doing like discussion videos if I want to do anything live. But yeah, that's something I've been dealing with. It's gonna keep it relatively short for today. It's MLK day as I'm streaming. And I'm a little exhausted from all the assembly required that was from me. So uh yeah, so so it'll be some Yu-Gi-Oh! just for an hour, then I'm gonna hop on to my PlayStation to play some Marvel Spider-Man DLC for the Black Cat. Then uh well call it a, a night by that point. So uh, thank you all for subscribing, don't forget to follow, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and follow to Talkative Carl on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. All the same name. So uh, go ahead and put the links up in the feed. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna uh, take some getting used to with uh, uh, with the live discussions that I want to do. Sometimes, uh, but for the most part, I will be doing some um, lore discussions, but those won't be live. There will be just displays of images and me just talking. So, uh, let's get to playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! And we'll be going over Vectris, uh, uh, his uh, background throughout the video. So we'll get to that. He's a uh, Zexo character, just so you know. Uh, so yeah, obviously with the XE stuff. So first things first, number six, C69. Heh <laughs> 69, Heredy Crest of Horror. Requires four level five monsters. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. If this card has number uh, number sixty nine Herodi Crest as an Xyz material, it gains this effect. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one face up Xyz monster your opponent controls. This card gains attack equal to that face up monster's original attack, and if it gains attack this way. This card's name becomes that monster's, and it gains that monster's original effect. These effects last until the end of phase. Number 8, Heraldic King Genome Heritage. Requires two level 4 Heraldic Beast, uh, beast monsters. Once per turn, you can target one face of Xyz monster your opponent controls. This card's name and original attack become that monster's name and current attack, and replace this effect with the effect of original effects of the, that monster's original effects. Then that monster's attack becomes zero. Also, its effects are negated. These changes last until the end phase. Yeah, a lot of Vectrix cards, uh, uh, just like him, a lot of manipulation and uh, somewhat takeovers. Uh, number 69, Herald de Crest, requires three level four monsters. If this card's special summon, negate the effects of all other face-up Xyz monsters currently on the field. You can target one other face-up Xyz monster on the field until the end phase. This card's name becomes that monster's and replace this effect with that monster's original effects. You can only use this effect of number 69 once per turn. Number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction. 
requires two level three monsters during your standby phase to attach one Xyz material from this card or take 2000 damage. You cannot spell summon any monsters while this card has no Xyz material, it cannot attack. Number 18, Herald the Patriarch. Requires two level four monsters once per chain during either player's turn. If two or more monsters with the same name are on the field, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card Choose one monster among those with the same name and destroy all other monsters with that name. While this card remains on the field, your opponent cannot summon monsters with the same name as any of the monsters chosen for, for this card's effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send two heroic beast monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Number 10, Illuminite. Requires three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw one card. Got a nail chipped. How that happened. Uh, okay. Heroic Beast Unicorn. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one psychic type Xyz monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Its effects are negated. You can only use this effect of heroic, heraldic beast unicorn once per turn. Heroic her, heraldic beast twin headed eagle. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face up Xyz monster you control with no Xyz materials and add two heroic, heroic beast monsters in your graveyard. Attach those monsters from the graveyard to that face up monster, Xyz monster as Xyz materials. You can only use this one once per turn. Heraldic Beast Leo. During the end phase of the this turn, this card was normal summon. Destroy this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard, add one heraldic beast monster from your deck to your hand, except Leo. Uh, okay. Heraldic beast ale. If you control two or more heraldic beast monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Heraldic beast burners falcon. When this card is summoned, you can make all face-up level 5 or higher monsters you currently control become level 4. Heraldic Beast Basilisk. After damage calculation, destroy any monsters. Destroy any, any opponent's monster that battles this card. Heraldic Beast Amisphibenia. You can discard one other Heraldic Beast monster. Special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can discard one heraldic beast monster. This card gains 800 attack until the end of this turn. Heraldic beast Aber Conway. If this card is in the graveyard, you can banish another heraldic beast Aber Conway from your graveyard to target one heraldic beast monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand, and you're going to use this effect once per turn. Okay, now we're on the trap cards. Xyz Extreme. When an Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle, pay 1000 life points. You reveal one Xyz monster from the extra deck with a rank less than or equal to that destroyed monsters, and so can your opponent simultaneously. The player who revealed the monster with the lowest attack takes damage equal to the difference between the revealed monster's attack. If the opponent, mon opponent doesn't reveal a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of your revealed monster. Of course, we got Xyz Reflect, just like a lot of the uh, supporting characters usually have. Uh, Xyz Reborn, Xyz Effect. Uh, Vain Betrayer. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, activate this card by targeting the attacking monster. It cannot, it cannot attack. Also, effects are negated. 
while that monster is on the field during in during each of your opponent's end phases, send the top three cards of the opponent's deck to the graveyard. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Reinforce space. E for uh, each face up Xyz monster you control, gain 300 attack for each Xyz material attached to it until the end phase. Got number wall. Uh, we already went over that before. Okay, Heraldry. Heraldry. Heraldry record. When an effect of your opponent's Xyz monster is activated by detaching its own Xyz material, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, Heraldry change. When your when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Supposed to summon one heroic beast monster from your hand, then end the battle phase. Okay, Xyz Revenge. For uh, if your opponent controls a face-up Xyz monster that has an Xyz material, target one Xyz monster in your graveyard. Supposed to summon it, then detach one Xyz material from your opponent, from a monster your opponent controls, and attach it to the monster as an Xyz material. Uh, you're going to use this once per turn. Okay, or like regen, or like capture. Uh, mystical cards of light. You cannot use one of your spell or chop card zones. During your draw phase, if you control another mystical source of light, you can draw two cards instead of your normal draw. Heraldry Reborn, target one heroic beast monster in your graveyard, is supposed to summon it. Augmented Heraldry, field spell card. Psychic type Xyz monsters on the field cannot be targeted by spell or chop card effects. Once per turn, you can discard one heroic beast monster, add one heraldry spell or chop card from your deck to your hand. You cannot normal or special summon monsters during the turn you activate this effect, except Psychic type Xyz monsters and heroic beast monsters. And finally, advanced heraldry art. Target two heraldic beast monsters in your graveyard. Supposed to summon both those targets. Immediately after this card resolves, Xyz summon one Xyz monster using those two monsters only. Okay. Now that we went over that quickly, we'll go over here and uh, Try out his deck. Okay. I might lose, so I'll give it like a few tries. Okay. second ok 
Okay. Well, I'm just gonna put this here. Put that here. Use it or lose it. Okay. Use this one. Once per turn, you can target one face. See some monsters of your opponent controls. Okay. You know, Vectrix was an interesting character. He, uh... You know, he... Yuma's father and Kite's father... Uh, was part of like some kind of research team to find the Barian world, but uh, Kai's father, Doctor Faker, betrayed them, sacrificed their bodies and souls uh, to the Barian world just to acquire well, pretty much like power or at least uh, understanding the Barian world. But then. Uh, you know, Vectris got corrupted, his body morphed from an adult to a child. And one half of his face looked like a like a void. Like it was like like a sinking black hole on the side of his face. It's like it, it's cool looking, but it was like wild. And like when he came back, he was completely changed. He like felt betrayed, obviously. And his sons, Quattro, Clay and and uh, was it Clay? Uh, and Quentin, they loved their father, and they just followed whoever orders, despite what you know, hi, you know him being like a complete, you know, uh, dick, even to them sometimes, and just because all he was concerned with was revenge. Until Yuma, when he spoiler alert, finally beat him, you know, had you know a change of heart and forgave Doctor Faker. And released all the souls he ended up taking through the first, uh, throughout the first arc. Uh, target one face of exceeds one of your poker shows. Say this here.
This is the strongest one I have. Not the strongest one she has. His deck on in the anime, his deck was crazy powerful. At least like it seemed crazy powerful. Cause some of the stuff I you know uh uh had to pretty much uh do heavily research uh concerning this game doesn't have that many support cards for certain decks. But it's like up to the point of like Maybe like part way through Yu-Gi-Oh R5 when this game first came out, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh R5 wasn't even completed yet, so it only had like a certain amount of a uh, 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 certain amount of things done, or at least uh, added to the game of that time. So like uh, Vectrix's deck. Uh, I get, I got what I could, and, and just improvise, uh, or at least uh, use certain other classic, or at least well-known XCs, uh, supporting cards like Number Wall or uh, XCs of Born, that kind of thing, because those are XCs deck essential cards. Too bad, but I'll try again. So, uh, well, actually, what well... 
Oh, we'll end the video with this duel, but. His son's decks are like really good. And arguably, depending on how you set up Vetra's deck, I gotta say the Sun's deck are like slightly superior. It just all depends. At least by this game standards. It, you got I got a lot Trey, that wasn't not Clay, it was Trey. Uh Trey and well, Quentin's deck, I couldn't make anything from this game with Quentin's deck. It's not that dissimilar to Kite. Except for a few different Xyz monsters. No, I'm thinking about the other guy in the uh, Baryon World arc thing. obviously a trap but sometimes the best way to defeat a trap is to spring it call the hunter there yep Start over. Got nothing. Yeah, cause, well, in this game, Trey and uh, Quattro, their decks are very good. Cause not only uh, they set up in a way that you can easily summon monsters on the field and like a, a decent amount. Per turn, so you can easily summon your Xyz monsters, and that's generally how Xyz decks are typically supposed to be set up. But It's just funny to me how that works. This is uh When an effect of your opponent's EC's monster is activated by detaching its own. Definitely gonna need that.
Because I haven't played with a Vectrix deck before, so I've seen it probably like at least a few times. But the way it's set up is just like, uh... It looked superior. But that's anim that's just the anime. It's supposed to by story design it's supposed to look like it's superior than you know actuality in real life when you set up that deck. At least it didn't seem like uh it doesn't seem like uh, the, there's much support cards for uh, Vectrix's deck if you're trying to build a Vectrix deck. I used that before. Let's try again. Gate attack. Thank God I got a monster.
Wow, that's like a significant amount of damage taken down. Like I got a massive lead now. For each XC's monster you control, this card gains 300 attack for each XC's material attached to it. So there's only two, so I only get six, so I'll make it 3,000. I better save just in case they got something up his sleeve next turn. You never know. There we go. I mean, it's decent. It's not something that I think of uh, using personally. Unless you got something clever you can do with it on your own terms. Uh, if you decide to make a Vectrix deck, at least try to keep the core components that make up his deck. Because you probably do have to, unless they, at the time of this recording, have already supporting cards for the heroic, heraldic uh, beast uh, support cards. Unless they actually have something and you can make a decent 60 card deck from it, then by all means, try it out. It's solid so far as I'm observing. But... Um, yeah, you, know, you might have to uh, add in a few cards to probably, you know. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. That's oh, all right. finally summon like a bigger monster if this is supposed this card is supposed to summon negate the effects of all other face of exceeds monster currently on the field talking one other face of sees monster on the field to the end face this card's name is I gotta say though, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, they do go all out with the, uh, when they summon certain monsters, the 3D effects is top notch. I don't think I ever mentioned that before.
I mean, I'm not sure what kind of artists are behind that, the 3D effect artists, but it's like very, very good stuff. Here it comes. I was thought about doing another triple summoning, but I figured it doesn't really need. Cause like this card on its own is very powerful in its own right. This might take me a few tries on his own. I haven't decided which other character I might do for the next video uh, next week, but I know I got on the docket. Oh boy. Oh, thank God. 
I'd rather it than my uh, vain betrayer. Yes. One second. Of course. I saw that going bacon saver into the thing from because of my chop card, but I knew at some point he was gonna use it. Oh. 
Definitely gonna need this just in case. The game's now over until the last card is played. Yeah, you gotta have Yuma use up all his resources, like barely have anything in his hand to utilize, because give him too much resources, he can be devastating. It's just like with uh, uh, Yusei, same thing. He, he, he uh, thrives off of resources. That's why you have his cards. Just like with uh, Yuma, if it used right, like with Yuma, you can, uh, as long as you be able to spell some a lot of monsters, well, yeah. scratch that. Both Yuma and Yusei utilize off of drawing resources. So you cut their resor resources off, like limiting, limiting the amount of summons they can make, or and or limiting limiting amount of cards they can draw they cannot use their bigger cards to play making them completely stagnant but uh that was vectrix's deck uh it'll be another video next week uh at some point if not next following weekend but uh, that was the deck, and uh, thank y'all for joining me. I will be uh, popping in onto some Marvel Spider-Man, uh, playing the Black Cat DLC before I call it the night. But uh, thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to Targative Carl on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And I will see you all soon. Good night, guys.